If the radical left in this country has their way, then this video will be illegal because of what I'm about to say. The oil and gas sector provides jobs and employment for thousands of Canadians, including First Nations communities. That right there will land me in jail if the NDP have their way. Sound insane? Well, you're not wrong. But the NDP actually have a plan to jail people who speak positively about the energy sector. Let's get into this because this isn't just silly or ridiculous, it's actually terrifying. Now just really quickly before we go on, I've noticed that a lot of people watching these videos haven't yet subscribed to my channel and as Justin Trudeau tries to take over more and more of the internet, it's really important you subscribe so you never miss out on a future video. This is Bill C-372. This comes from NDP Member of Parliament, Charlie Angus. He is a veteran and a senior member of Jugmeet Singh's NDP team. You might remember him from some of these vile tweets he's put out. Or who can forget this incredible performance. We're making the change and don't let them tell you it can't be done when the night is dark. It'll always be the dawn. Now this bill prohibits the promotion of fossil fuels. It even carries big fines and jail time for people who say certain positive things about the energy sector. I'm not paraphrasing here or putting words in Charlie Angus's mouth. I'm reading directly from the bill. It says it is prohibited for a person to promote a fossil fuel in a manner that states or suggests that, that the fossil fuel its production or its emissions are less harmful than other fossil fuels. What does that mean? If I were to tell you that natural gas emits fewer greenhouse gases than say coal, off to jail I go. It goes on. It's prohibited to promote fossil fuels in a manner that states or suggests that a fossil fuel would lead to positive outcomes in relation to the environment, the health of Canadians, reconciliation with Indigenous peoples, or the Canadian economy. If I were to say that, for example, the oil and gas sector creates jobs for thousands of Canadians, or that First Nations groups want to develop their natural resources, including oil and gas, to help bring prosperity for their people, and that that would be a step towards reconciliation, off to jail I go. Jared That's right, Gerard, Charlie that Angus and the NDP and the radical left in this country want to make it illegal to debate ideas. So in this video I've already said positive things about Canadian oil and gas. I've already talked about the benefits it brings to indigenous communities and workers across the country. So I would be in violation of this act. What could I face should this become law? Well, on conviction, I could be subject to a fine of up to a million dollars, or I could go to prison for up to two years. That's what the NDP are talking about, sending people to prison for up to two years for saying positive things about Canada's oil and gas sector. Insane. You might think it's just a throwaway bill from an obscure member of parliament that you've never heard about. But trust me, Charlie Angus is a major player in the NDP and the NDP is a coalition partner with Justin Trudeau. This is a big deal and it is a sign of things to come. You see, this is a tactic of the far left. They come up with these types of ideas and at first they're kind of laughed at. Nobody takes it seriously, but they start to propose more and more of these types of things and the whole conversation shifts until one day they're actually doing what Justin Trudeau's doing, passing laws to control the internet and passing laws to restrict our freedoms and subsidizing media outlets that are friendly to him and punishing those that aren't. Now words like authoritarian and fascist get thrown around a lot these days, but this is the definition of totalitarian government. When the government can control what you can say, how you can debate ideas, that is horrifying. You don't have to go too far back in our history to find examples of government that made it illegal to debate ideas in order to retain their grip on power or to advance their agenda over the objections of their people. Dictators do this all the time. Fidel Castro put people in jail for saying positive things about capitalism. Soviet dictators did the same thing, shipping people off to the gulag if they complained about the communist agenda. This is a tactic of socialists and authoritarian politicians 
throughout time and across the world. When they lose arguments, they make it illegal to debate them. They literally make ideas or viewpoints banned. And that's what this bill will do. This bill will send people to jail for promoting the idea that certain forms of oil and gas are better for the environment than other, and that the energy sector provides such a benefit to the Canadian economy. That is the tactic of the radical left. Literally, they can't win debates on their own merits, so they will put other people in jail for opposing them. Don't forget, this is part of an agenda. Justin Trudeau has already started to take away your rights to free speech. He's got his bill C-11, a restriction on free speech and other bills designed to give him control over the internet, what you can see and post online. He bought off the media outlets across this country, subsidizing newspapers and stacking boards to determine which outlets get government money and which ones don't. This is a slow but sure erosion of your ability, of our ability as Canadians to discuss things freely, to debate things. That's the only way that good ideas emerge from the pack of awful ideas, when they're tested and debated and they hold up to scrutiny. And the NDP and Liberals want to do away with all that so that nobody can question their extreme agenda. This is why this matters. So, if I'm going to find myself offside with the far left's new bill to restrict what you can say about the energy sector, and if I'm going to be subject to fines and imprisonment, I might as well earn it. Clean and ethical Canadian natural gas is better for the environment than coal. The oil and gas industry provide jobs for thousands of Canadians in every part of this country. First Nations communities benefit from investment, drilling, exploration, and exportation of clean and ethical oil and gas. Every Canadian is better off thanks to our energy sector. There you go. I've just earned myself a few years in prison and maybe a couple million dollars worth of fines for saying something that is true. Prison used to be the place we sent people who did things like steal cars or commit violent assaults. Now, if the far left in this country get their way, it's going to be where the government sends people who say the truth. Oh, my loving family. Nothing's changed. Kindly host, laborinos. Oakley, Oakley. Hey, what the hell is that geek Flanders doing on TV? Oh, I see by the big board we got a negative Nelly in Sector 2. I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask the whole family to kind of freeze and prepare for re-education. Don't you remember, Dad? Flanders is the unquestioned lord and master of the world. There used to be an important principle in Western societies that the truth was always a defense. But that won't be the case if the radical far left in this country have their way. Conservatives are going to fight this bill. But stay vigilant and don't believe that the NDP will protect your rights and liberties because they won't. And as always, thanks for watching.